Hey, choose the best rally. We got that. No, not that. Alright, alright, hold on. Give us a second. We don't have we don't have enough potential energy. Or whatever. Goodness. Today we didn't receive enough ATP. The rules of this game are pretty simple. Basically, you have to hit the ball back and forth between each side, and um, the objective of the game is to basically win the point up to 21. Another rule is that it has to rise at least 16 centimeters above the table so that the other person can see it and has enough potential energy to get to the other side. To help the player. Okay, so since we s start table tennis by serving, we've come up with a formula using physics to calculate the best possible serve for an average player. It is known that the two toughest spots for the ball to be responded are the two corners, this one and this one. Uh, since we know that the dimensions are 2.74 meters by 1.53 meters, and since we know that the average distance uh, a player is away from the table is 1 foot or 0 0.3 meters, we use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the distance from the player to the corner, which is 3.135 meters. From multiple experiments, we calculated average time for the ping pong to reach from one paddle to the other paddle, and that is 0 0.3 seconds. Since velocity equals distance over time, velocity equals 10.45 meters. Using Sokotoa, we can calculate theta, which is 676 degrees. 9 degrees minus 76 degrees equals 14 degrees. So therefore the ideal serve is 10.45 meters per second with the paddle angled at 14 degrees from the normal. Okay, now that we've found the perfect formula for a perfect serve, we're going to put it into action. This is a protractor. And we got 14 degrees. So I'm going to angle my bat like that. Let's see how it works. A little deviation, but my hand shook, so a uh, formula works. So this is one kind of spin. Now, the way it works is the ball only the bat slicing the ball only makes the ball spin around, like it revolves around itself. So, but it doesn't actually. If you notice that ball, it moved to the left. It doesn't make the ball curl. It only makes it spin. What makes it curl is the ball's action itself. When the ball is spinning, say this way. The, the airflow, it changes the airflow. The airflow going this way is faster than the airflow going this way because of the spin. That means that the air slowly, slowly pushes the ball to the left and that's why it curls. Okay. What are you looking at? So the coefficient of restitution is the bounciness of the ball. According to table tennis rules, the coefficient of restitution has to be 0 0.94. That means when I bounce it, according to the calculations we have done, when you bounce it from 30 centimeters on the ping pong table, taking into account the friction, it should rise up 23 centimeters. What is it called again? Coefficient of restitution. What is it called again? Coefficient of restitution. What is it called again? Coefficient of restitution. Yep. What's it called again? Coefficient of restitution.